between a tearful complainant... I woke up mid-rape, essentially. ..and a fierce denial... Did you rape Brittany Higgins? No, I didn't. There are renewed questions about what senior Labor figures knew of Brittany Higgins' allegation before her bombshell TV interview. I do think there needs to be honesty from our Prime Minister. We can't have a situation where a government's misleading the Australian people. Former Cabinet Minister Linda Reynolds, whose office was the scene of the alleged 2019 assault, raised concerns in Parliament two years ago about the case being politicised. I was told by one of your senators two weeks before um, about what you were intending to do. I had no knowledge of this. No one had any knowledge. OK. I had no knowledge of this. How dare you? Order. Now we will it's all move. about we protecting will yourself. But text messages between Ms Higgins and her partner David Shiraz assert that one Labor frontbencher was aware days before the project interview went to air in February 2021. Katie Gallagher messaged me, Shiraz told Higgins on February 11. According to texts leaked to The Australian, she's angry and wants to help. Can I see her message, replies Higgins. Yep, I gave her the project interview for context. I hope that's OK. That's fine. It'll be public pretty soon anyway. Did Senator Katie Gallagher mislead Parliament in June 2021? I have absolute confidence in Senator Gallagher. There's a multi-million dollar payout. You've got the finance minister who, uh, on the advice of some, has misled the parliament. Brittany Higgins received a confidential settlement from the Commonwealth in December, a few weeks after Bruce Lehrman's trial was aborted because of a juror's misconduct. An entirely regular decision, completely in accordance with the legal services direction. Linda Reynolds has vowed to refer the matter to the National Anti-Corruption Commission, which opens for business next month. She has two big questions. Why the payout to Brittany Higgins was granted so swiftly and why she was denied an opportunity to attend mediation. With Parliament resuming next week, the Prime Minister and Katie Gallagher will likely both face another round of questioning. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.